When I see someone experiencing nature for the first time, it just makes my heart soar. One of the challenges that we have in New Haven, like many urban centers that are out there, is that we don't have a lot of access to open space. In Connecticut, we spend a lot of money protecting Long Island Sound, building up coastal resiliency, protecting from storm surges, but we want a federal participation in that because the whole country gets a benefit. Working in urban areas like this allows us to benefit aquatic species, fish and wildlife, and also an opportunity to connect people with nature here where they live. A partner like the New Haven Land Trust gives us the opportunity to really connect to the local community while also reaching our objectives as Fish and Wildlife Service. It's not uncommon for you to find many residents that have never even set their foot in the Long Island Sound. And that's what makes places like Long Wharf Nature Preserves so important. Long Wharf can be considered as an urban oasis because it's a uh, restored natural space in a larger landscape of development. What we've been working to do uh, in the Long Wharf Nature Preserve is further improve the ecosystem by removing invasive species and planting trees. We provide expertise and technical assistance, figuring out what can be done on the site, um, what types of plants should be included in the planting plan. We got over thousands of pounds of weeds. Uh, we fixed one of the bridges we have and we planted new um, plants and flowers over there so we can attract natural birds and more insects that help the preserve grow better and healthier. It makes New Haven look much greener compared to how it used to look. We offer adult programming, things like bird walks, stargazing, we also offer programming for youth. We have a small summer camp, the Schooner Summer Camp. We are basically running programming for eight weeks over the summer for youth ages 6 to 12 years old to connect them to the coastline. We like go to the beach and learn and play. When we go to the preserve, there's like a trail that we would walk on and you'll be able to see like the ocean and when it's low tide, there'll be mud flats out there. I just like to go in the water and find creatures. We teach them stewardship of self, stewardship of place, and stewardship of their group, trying to teach them that, that this is an important thing for them to, to take care of because they're going to be the ones who are in charge of it. I found crabs and a clear jellyfish. A whole bunch of crabs came out of the holes. I just thought that was really like fascinating. It was cool. Being able to not only bring people on the land, but then change their mind, it creates future stewards of the environment for many years to come. Being able to like get dirty and you know learn something in the process and learn why we're doing it, it's kind of cool. I've had my mind set on being a marine biologist. I just, I've, I love the sea. To see kids that are shy and hesitant, racing through the water and picking up a horseshoe crab, to me makes the work that we do all the worthwhile. It's inspiring that we can do something like this in such an urbanized area and really have such an impact in such a small piece of property. At the end of the day, what's important to preserving and enhancing our habitat is that people care about it. I feel like it's helping more people than to show them what is good to do for nature and what's good for them. The essence of America is to leave our land better than we found it. Earth is our only planet that we have and we need to maintain it.